I knew there had to be an opportunity to work with really good people, working on amazing projects in communities where we could make a difference, we could make an impact, we could contribute to a better world around us. The Griffith Centre for Systems Innovation is focused on accelerating the shifts towards regenerative and distributive futures. We can look at making changes for better, whether it's in business, environment, civic innovation, institutional infrastructures. But if we only look small and we don't look at the ecosystems around, it's really hard to make big change. True change involves honouring lived experiences letting go of old patterns that no longer serve their goal, and ultimately shifting power. Regenerative and distributive, the two parts of systems change. For me, regenerative is all of the institutions, the government, the business, the communities, and the natural systems that we all rely on coming together and getting outcomes that work for everyone involved, and recognising that when we do that, we get a regeneration of each of those systems. Distributive, I think, just means the sharing of resources, what the world has for everyone. I think it's also a sharing of power so that everybody can have a say in what happens to them or for them, about them. I am very worried about the inequality of wealth in the world, but I've also seen the benefits of cooperative business models and how that can lead to distributive wealth. And I think this is the time where we can focus on those kind of solutions. The centre has three big challenges, which are civic innovation, institutional innovation and systems capital. And where we're going is to get a lot more intentional about the partnership work we're doing. So it's about the co-creation, the co-design, how do we work together to actually build something that we can test and experiment with so everybody can learn in a small way and then we'll start to go, okay, this works, let's see what else we can do. Universities are incredibly wealthy anchor institutions and we have a responsibility back into the communities that we sit within. So how do we align the resources, the skills, the knowledges, the physical infrastructure that we have to actually support communities to build capability, to gather data, to create stories, to shift the things that they think needs to be shifted. This work is something that we need to do together with others. No one can do it alone. So we need organisations and people who are curious we need people who are willing to push the boundaries, try new things, experiment towards better and have trust that we can move towards these better futures.